Hi, my name is John from Japanese Knife Imports, and today I'm here to talk to you about burrs and burr formation and deburring when it comes to sharpening knives. Uh, I've discussed burrs in some of the other videos that we have on the basics of knife sharpening, but I thought it might be useful to have a, a separate video just on the discussion of burrs uh, alone. And so first and foremost, I'm gonna take some time to explain what a burr is. Um, as you sharpen your knife, you're gonna be grinding away metal on one side. So let's say we're sharpening this side here. As we grind away, metal is being removed, but at the same time, metal is being drawn out and up over the edge. And as it does this, it flips up and over. And this little part where my fingers are over here is what's called the burr. And you can feel it on the opposite side that you're sharpening on by running your thumb up across the edge. Not ever side to side, but just up across the edge. Uh, you can also use your other fingers for that. But as long as you're moving up across the edge as opposed to laterally, uh, as it can be very sharp and very dangerous, uh, that way you can feel uh, the burr when you're sharpening. So this is this little part here when we're sharpening the edge of a knife, this is what's called our burr. Burr formation is a really necessary part of knife sharpening, uh, especially in the coarse stages. Burr formation tells us a few things about our knife sharpening. One, it tells us that we're actually sharpening the edge of our knife, which is really, really important. Uh, if you're sharpening just the area behind the edge, like in this area over here, you're never reaching the edge and you're never gonna get a nice sharp edge. So you may be making your knife a little bit thinner and it may cut better because of that, but you're not actually getting a sharper edge. You're getting a thinner knife out of it. Um, so the first thing that tells us is that we're actually sharpening the edge. When we're sharpening, we're looking for the burr to be consistent from heel to tip. We want it to be the same size from heel to tip. And one of the reasons that we want that is because it tells us that we're removing the same amount of metal in each place along the blade, which helps us maintain the profile of our knife over time. So the second thing that the burr tells us is that we're doing a good job consistently maintaining the shape of our knife over time. And there are times where you need to change the shape of your knife, or you're trying to make adjustments, or you have a big chip, and so it won't exactly play out in that way. But as a general rule, that's the kind of expectation that you can have, is that when your burr is consistent and even from heel to tip, the shape of your knife will be maintained over time. You're removing the same amount of metal in each place along the blade. The last thing that the burr tells us is that we're removing fatigue steel from the edge. One of the main reasons that we sharpen our knives is to get rid of the steel that's no longer holding up and expose fresh new steel. And by forming a burr, we know that we're removing enough metal to, to expose fresh new steel. And so these are the main reasons that we form a burr. Now, as I've said, uh, this is very important in the coarser uh, stones. When you move up into the finishing stones, uh, sometimes you form a burr, um, almost always actually end up forming a burr, uh, but some people prefer to form smaller and smaller burrs as they go. And that's totally fine. It's not necessary to form huge burrs all the time. In fact, it's not even necessary to form a huge burr on your core stone. As long as you can tell that it's there, you can feel that it's consistent, that's what's important. And over time, as you get better at sharpening, you'll be able to feel smaller and smaller burrs and you'll become a little bit more uh, attuned to, to dealing with this kind of thing. Uh, in the beginning though, uh, it may be a little bit more difficult and so you end up making burrs a little bit larger than necessary and a little bit of steel goes to waste. And it's acceptable loss in, in the sense that you need that kind of feedback to get your knife sharp. Uh, as you move up through your progression of stones, uh, you're going to be getting your burr to be smaller and smaller. And some people de-burr in between stones. And they do that either by using uh, a felt block that they can slice through or stropping on felt or uh, using cork, cutting through cork. Uh, there's a variety of ways to do this. You can also use uh, lateral strokes across your stone uh, at the same angle that you might normally sharpen at. And instead of moving back and forth, you can move uh, from one side to the other, which will help kind of shear off or grind away uh, at your burr. Um, but as you move up through your progression of the stones, the burr will probably get smaller and smaller, likely get smaller and smaller due to the finer and finer abrasive that you'll be using. Um, at the end of your sharpening, you're gonna have something left on the edge there. And so what you wanna do is make sure that you take time to deburr and clean up your edge at the end of your sharpening. If you leave a burr on your edge, it's a weak piece of floppy metal that will not hold up to real use of your knife. So when you see your knife lose its edge very quickly after sharpening, chances are there's still the residual burr left on the edge. Uh, sometimes it can straighten out, uh, which people can refer to as a wire edge. A wire edge can also be when your edge is just too thin and it doesn't have the uh, stability or strength to hold up. Um, but as, as you sharpen, it's very important to keep in mind that sharpening is mostly about forming a burr, making sure that it's nice and consistent and even, going through, refining, reducing the size of the burr, and eventually removing the burr so that you have a nice, clean, sharp edge 
that will hold up and will cut well uh, for all the tasks that you may be using your kitchen knife for. Uh, so as you think about sharpening, please keep the burrs in mind. Anyways, if you have any questions, you can always find us at JapaneseKnifeImports.com. Uh, my name is John. Again, thank you so much for watching.